with the iGrow 1400 controller linked to the iDrive motor controller, you can control your shade, sidewalls, ridge vents, louvers proportionally with a variety of different programming options to choose from. Once you have properly installed your shade and vent motor and have total control with the iDrive manual override switch, you can interlink the iDrive with the 1400 for smooth and harmonious operation. First, from the iDrive J1 portion of the circuit board located on the lower right corner on the back side of the iDrive door, you want to locate one, the control close signal, two, the control common signal, three, the control open signal. At this location, you want to land your three wire strand, run it through the bottom with liquid tight connectors or conduit, and continue your wire run towards the iGrow 1400 controller. Note, we will be utilizing the 24 volts for our signal from the iDrive. So you want to make sure that the iDrive is a master housing a 24 volt transformer. Now on the 1400 controller, we need to dedicate two neighboring outputs. The one being odd for open and the two being even for close. One and two, three and four, five and six, etc. Stranded wire 18 gauge for runs less than 250 feet and 16 gauge for runs less than 750 feet. Now to do this installation we need to power down the controller and we need to open the controller exposing the PCB on the back side. With the 1400 you can do a wet or dry contact installation but for this example we will be doing a dry contact installation which will allow us to isolate our equipment and use the iDrive transformer, not the master common from this controller's existing setup. For this demonstration, we will use outputs one and two, and the wiring will go as follows. Plus one will land our open signal wire, plus two will land our closed signal wire, and then we'll go ahead and install in negative one, jumping to negative two, our 24 volt signal wire. We will also pull or place on one pin the black jumpers J21 and J22 to make this a dry contact application. And also we will put on one pin the red jumpers J41 and J42 to enable the outputs to be interlocked, preventing the outputs to open and close at the same time. Once our installation is complete, we want to go ahead and test the outputs to ensure that they are working properly. You want to set the number one and number two that we wired to the off position, and then one at a time put them at the on position. And as you can see, the open contactor engaged. Turn it off, then number two, the closed contactor engaged. And all we have to do now is program our one and two output to be a vent or shade equipment type and we can use this application for proportional control. And that's our video in connecting the iGrow 1400 with the iDrive Motor Controller.